Time now for our final feature to complement the sporting action this week and I've been catching up with some of the disabled athletes who are here and seeing how their contribution is helping the military to develop a disabled category for future years in Merrillal. Five years ago, an instant changed everything. Talon was on his way to a rugby match he hadn't planned to play in. He was helping out a friend whose team was one short. A car emergency stopped in front of him. Talon came off his motorbike and was driven over and dragged down the road by the oncoming traffic. Ex-Navy, he was just six months into his new career as a PE teacher when he became a paraplegic, paralysed from the chest down. He was only 32. They couldn't operate on my back to fix the bones that had been shattered because of the breaks in my neck. So the way the doctors treat that is to just get you to lie still. So for three and a half months, I stared at a ceiling. So it did give me a lot of time to think and to come to terms with the enormous change in my life. I got a picture of a, of a monoskier stuck on the ceiling and I stared at that. So whenever I felt down, I would just look at this picture of this monoskier of someone who was paralyzed, carving their way down a mountain and that would sort of make me smile again and realise that actually there is something out there. He'd been skiing since childhood and 11 months after his accident he returned to the slopes. Three months later he was chosen for the development squad for the British disabled team. Uphill struggles an understatement. On the piste he's broken his neck, his back, his foot, his ribs and countless bits of equipment. But it's worth it. Coming down through the finish line of the downhill of the inter-services I was wearing the biggest smile ever and you forget completely about the fact that you're disabled. You're not disabled. You are living your life and you're living it on the edge and you get a massive buzz from it. The disabled team's here to get more competition experience as it trains before selection for the Paralympic squad for 2010's Winter Games. But these skiers' inputs helping the military develop its battle back scheme, supported sport for those who've been injured on ops. Everybody stops when they're coming down. Everybody stops, turns to watch them, watch them uh, ski that slope. Uh, it's, it's really crazy what they do, and they do it extremely well. I mean, they're quick. Not military background, but if I can be there as an inspiration just to show the people what can be, you know, what sort of levels can be reached, I think it's going to be great. And to be part of that is just fantastic. Talon made naval history by being allowed to continue his service life as a reservist after his injury. He says attitudes within the MOD are evolving. You get a few odd looks to start off with just because people are surprised to see a wheelchair user in uniform. The powers that be have recognised that people can still offer operational capability. Now I was happy to say, it's OK, I don't need to go to sea. And none of the personnel at uh, Flying Fox bat an eyelid when I come in and they just accept, oh, you know, his talent. That's that.